Hi guys, this video is a sped up one uh, for, of a landscape painting that I observed while traveling from Kolkata to uh, New Delhi uh, just before the lockdown of 2020 and I made some oil sketches. Now it turned out good so I thought why not uh, give it a go with a bigger painting. So this is uh, average size canvas 18 by 24 and I started painting. So this video is slightly sped up, but you can still understand what is going on. Here I'm covering um, all the areas with uh, thick paint. And after that, uh, after the block in, I will be dealing with the details. So this is a morning scene and uh, this is just before the summer is going to hit us. So, you know, there is some coolness but uh, there is still the presence of uh, the warmth that is going to hit us in a, in a month or so. But, uh, you know, there is some winter left into it, but the summer is also going to come. So it's a slightly more complex painting than one could imagine. Uh, for a painting like this, it would be better to paint directly from nature so that you can observe every situation. But it was not possible. I was inside the train and I had to take a photograph of uh, all the sceneries that went by. And uh, I'm trying to be as um, you know direct as possible. I'm not... Uh, trying to over define anything as if I would be doing a plein air painting outside so that uh, the nature is captured fresh onto the canvas. Here you can uh, see that I'm trying to create some sort of uh, mist uh, in the painting and the element of light into that. This light is very bright, this is morning light and this is just um, you know, the summer is just near around the corner. So, um, you know, this is a very complex kind of a scene to paint. And I'm using board marks with, you know, bigger brushes. And there are certain techniques that I will explain later. Here, I'm just indicating shapes as if I would be doing, as if I would do a plein air painting uh, outside. You know, to execute a painting uh, of this size with great speed, it needs to have a certain knowledge of which brush would do what and what would be the final result on, on that. And you have to have clear idea about the color temperature and value and shapes. I mean, this is what painting is all about. But again, if you... Uh, you know, go into detail, uh, there are more things in it, obvi quite obviously. But overall, always try to, you know, focus on shapes, value and color temperature. Even if you, uh, you know, mix a blue color that is slightly wrong, but if it, is, if it is still warm and you want a warm blue color, it'll still do the work. In order to do a painting uh, very fast or you know, doing very little and still managing to capture the realism, you have to have some amount of uh, understanding regarding brushwork. And as you practice uh, again and again and again, you will continue to make mistakes, but your previous mistakes will be eradicated and uh, you will get a more clear picture about how to uh, execute. Here I'm using a very thin brush, but this is still again a uh, bristle brush. I'm using the tip of the bristle brush with uh, a slightly more diluted paint to indicate the branches. I am aware here that uh, the branches are not going to be seen because I'm going to uh, use a fan brush to indicate the dry leaves. This is what is known as basant or you know springtime and the old leaves will go away and the new leaves are going to come. So this is that time and you can see how uh, randomly the brush strokes have been placed to indicate uh, 
the leaf uh, patterns, but it still looks uh, somewhat realistic. So when you have more clarity about the execution part, uh, the scenes will start to look realistic in front of you. Here I'm indicating the bird holes, uh, and this is slightly more difficult because this tree doesn't have any leaves in them, and all mostly most of them are dry. And here again, there is a mustard field that I'm indicating with the very minimum brush strokes. And there are some highlighted areas and there are some darker areas. The greens are going to be very bright because this is the season of color. And it's very interesting. I should have painted this, uh, jumped out of the train and painted in front of the scene. But that was unfortunately not possible. Uh, during this time and monsoon, even in the summer, I think these are the best times to paint in Indian flatlands. You can see how colorful this is uh, becoming. Notice that I'm using mostly similar brushes, but uh, how I'm holding them makes all the difference. And even with random marks, there is a clear plan about how uh, a section should be represented. Now here what I'm doing is suggestive detail to indicate uh, the reality in the scene and make it appear more realistic. There are various elements that I have not started yet that was kind of an afterthought whether to include that or not. But eventually I will uh, do that and there is a land section uh, farming area that I still have not indicated. You can see that I am also using palette knife. Uh, to indicate some branches that are getting highlighted as well. I am careful about the highlighting and here I am you know fine tuning some areas and indicating some stuff uh, that are not very clear what are those but they appear to be uh, some poles and fine tuning areas. Now I am creating um, a fence kind of a thing to protect it from animals. I wasn't sure whether to include that, but eventually I thought, why not? I mean, I can see it in front of me. Possibly I should do that. The fence poles are backlit, so they have the maximum amount of highlight. Now I'm indicating the barbed wire with a palette knife. There will be some hits and misses. And here is the final painting. If you like this video, then please uh, click the like button and also subscribe for future videos. And if you have any queries, then you can let me know in the comment section. And remember to click the bell icon and you can also check out my website www.costofmfineart for more paintings. I thank you for your time. Take care.